What's going on, Call of Duty fans? Welcome back. My name is Unveiled Entertainment Gaming, and welcome back to another awesome episode of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare here today, everybody. Today, I will be playing Team Deathmatch on Retreat. It's been a little bit of a while. I haven't played this game in about a week or so, so it's about to fucking go down right now. I am about to use the weapon of weapons, of course, and today, I want to be talking about the upcoming 2015 Call of Duty video game. Now, there have been a lot of rumors going around that the next Call of Duty video game will be entitled Call of Duty World at war 2 um i'm not entirely sure how accurate that actually is uh there have been a lot of you know fake images coming out with uh you know uh cover art on the xbox one and playstation 4 or whatnot but there are a lot of people out there uh speculating that uh world at war 2 will actually return and like i just said i mean it's all rumors as of this point we're not entirely sure whether it's gonna be black ops 3 oh shit there we go that guy thought he could fucking mj over me did you guys just see that shit look at that all of these assholes right now are getting clipped. I am walking up in this bitch, Compton style. Oh, fuck! Alright, well, um, like I said, um, a lot of people, including myself, are getting really tired of the, uh, you know, futuristic Call of Duty BS. I mean, does anybody here agree with me when I say that? Um, almost every single Call of Duty game now is just more like an, uh, you know, futuristic style type game. And actually, we're all getting sick of that shit. I mean, we all want to go back to the World War style where they had, like, you know, um, you know, old school weapons and old school kill streaks and stuff like that. I mean, I feel like, you know, as good as Advanced Warfare is, um, um, it's still a little hokey pokey for me because it's it's just so tacky. I mean, it's it's really cool to have that futuristic style to it, you know, um, futuristic weapons and being able to jump glide and you know rocket launchers that that are able to like sense your body temperature, all that bullshit, you know. Um, but a lot of people, including myself, want to go back to the old traditional style of Call of Duty. Who the fuck shot me just now? I'm about to there we go. Oh look at that! Holy fuck! Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? I shot this dude in the back of the skeleton and he was still fucking able to walk this is what i'm talking about man but i mean not every call of duty game is perfect this guy's a fucking victim come here yeah that's right um i mean personally for me although this game now finally does have zombies exo survival zombies um it still pales in comparison to the original zombies and we all know that the original zombies actually started off with um you know world at war so uh how fitting would it be if you know world at war 2 returns and then we have like a bigger style of zombies we have you know bigger maps more multiplayer more zombies and stuff like that so i think for me personally that it is a very good idea um oh crap all right so I i'm doing pretty good right now i have to stay that way i have to stay consistent and uh we are winning by like fucking tenfold right now so i mean it's pretty it's pretty interesting look, look at this fucking guy look at that guy he fucking he spun around like cinderella as if i'm gonna put a shoe on his foot instead i put some bullets in his head um oh shit there we go pow right in the kisser i just gave him the fucking super dragon fist damn it all to hell um but yeah, I mean, the, the potential for Call of Duty coming out in the future, um, you know, hensing at, you know, returning at, at, at its, you know, World War roots, um, that's pretty cool. I mean, you know, you had Call of Duty 1, 2, and 3, which had, you know, World War-based style gameplay. We had, uh, you know, World at War. And then uh, following that, we had Call of Duty 4. We had uh, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1 and 2, Ghosts, and Advanced Warfare that all featured, you know, futuristic style, you know, uh, gameplay mechanics, including, you know, modern day gameplay mechanics as well um i'm pretty sure everybody here loves modern warfare 2 for what it was worth you know so let me know in the comment section below guys on your thoughts and your opinions on the upcoming call of duty game being a uh more like a you know world war style based game but uh oh look at this guy how, how did that guy not see this giant turret mounted on the ground that's like locked and loaded to like just rip the fucking shins off of somebody's fucking legs i i don't understand so um but yeah let me know guys I mean going back if you guys actually go back right now if anybody who's watching this right now goes back and they play a uh, world at war and then they go off and play, you know, uh, Modern Warfare 1, right? You could see how different the games were. You could see how awesome they were in a sense because um, World at War had a, a great style of gore. They had, like, you know, a utilization of perks and stuff like that, which was pretty awesome. And then we have Modern Warfare 1, the Call of Duty game that originated everything. And if it wasn't for that game, we wouldn't be playing this right now. And I wouldn't have been fucking getting camped killed right now, son of a bitch. 14 and 7, not bad, not bad. Uh, but it is 2015, guys. Uh, I mean... 
these these gaming developers have to uh, they have to step it up because if they don't, what the fucking hell? I shot him. Realistically, if I shoot somebody, you're gonna fucking get hurt. You're gonna like wobble around or something. And I'm using a fucking powerful ass weapon too. This is bullshit. But like I said, guys, um, I'm I'm not really too big or too high on uh, KD, but uh, I'm more along the lines of win loss ratio. So. But yeah, I mean, World War II, what do you guys think? Is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? Uh, let me know because a lot of you guys that play uh, Call of Duty are very, very, very different in terms of what you guys like to see, in terms of like, you know, what you guys want to see in the future of Call of Duty games, uh, mechanics, story, and stuff like that. So if you guys are futuristic Call of Duty fans, let me know. If you guys are World War II, uh, World War I Vietnam-based fans, let me know. Uh, for me, I, I think that Call of Duty does need a little bit of a, of, of a refreshment, sort of say, um, and have that World War II-based style gameplay. Um, I mean, if, if it is World at War II, hoopty hoorah, it, it'll be a good thing for Call of Duty, but but if not, let's just see what happens. So thank you all for watching, everybody. Once again, if you guys are fans, don't forget to subscribe for all the latest Call of Duty news, information, and updates. If you guys enjoyed the episode, don't forget to hit it up with a like and a favor. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay tuned for more, and I'll be seeing you all in the next episode. If you guys want to play with me, let me know or just join my game, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace out.